everyone has seen Whose Line Is It Anyway? The show where everyone, everything is made up and points do not matter. Some of the stars from the show are coming to the NYCB Theater at Westbury on October 10th, and we'll have your chance to win tickets in just a few. But one of the stars from the show is actually on the phone with us now. Big round of applause for comedian Greg Proops. Good morning, Greg. Hello, Michelle. How are you? I'm great. How's everything going? Good. I can't complain. Awesome. Thank you so much for being with us today. My pleasure, darling. Oh, so I have a lot of a lot of questions for you. So I hope you have your funny pants on for okay, this interview. Go. Awesome. So one of my first questions that I'd love to ask is. How did you get started in comedy and improv? Well, I was a teenager uh, back in the 70s, and uh, I was doing um, stand-up to high school and whatnot and college, and then I went to San Francisco State, and I saw an improv group, and I'd never seen anyone do improv before, and I thought, well, I can do that. And they used to do an audience spot where they asked for volunteers, so I sat in the front row the next week, and I jumped up and I volunteered, and then they asked me to join the group, and that's when I started doing it. And then Whose Line came to San Francisco, uh, in 1989, and um, I got on. I auditioned for the show, and I got on then. So we're having our 30th anniversary celebration at Royal Albert Hall in London this December with me, Colin Brad, Jesse, Clive, the original host, Laura and Linda, and Jeff Davis, who's in, uh, who's live with me. Oh wow, that is amazing! So yep. speaking more of the show, let's let's talk about the TV show. Whose line is it anyway? All right. Do you guys really not know the topics before the show? Like, it's a, like, legit improv, like, on the spot. Oh, yeah, no, we don't know. We, we, we know where we're going to stand, and we know what games we're going to play. But other than that, we don't know anything. Oh, wow, that's amazing. Such talent. I wish I could. I have too many things on my mind at once to just think of a topic and just blurt it out. It's great. So... In your opinion, all right, I'm going to put you on a spot right now. I'm going to put you in a little hot seat, okay? All right. In your opinion, who do you think was a better or is a better host, Aisha Tyler or Drew Carey? And it's okay to spill the tea. I'm going to well, tell you. I don't know. You know, <laughs> Drew is uh, such a affectionate and loving man. Uh, I like them all. I mean, you know, I, I think uh, uh, I think Aisha is a, a, a more relevant host for the times, if that answers your question. Okay, yeah, I like that. Because it's nice to have female energy on the show. Sometimes we actually have two or three people of color and three or four women on the set, which is uh, nice. Oh, that's great. I'm glad, you know, okay, so I wasn't too hot and too spicy, but still very good. Thank you. Mm-hmm. So I also have a co-host here. I have Gabe with me, and he has a question for you as well. Hey there, Greg. How's it going? What's up, brother? Uh, I wanted to ask you, what's your favorite game to play on the show? Um, I like film and theater styles, but uh, we don't play that that much anymore, really. Oh, that's a shame. Yeah. Um, I, the other questions I wanted to ask... Um, we want to play a game from the show right now. I want to know if we could do uh, scenes from a hat. We'll give you a random scene, and uh, you go say say whatever comes to your head. How about questions? How about questions? Mm-hmm. More questions? That's a, questions is easier to play on the phone. Oh, uh, okay. Uh, I, you, maybe you should play that with us because I. Yeah. <laughs> questions means you can only speak in questions, right? Ooh. So you give me a scenario, like let's say we're at an airline counter. Hi, can I buy a plane ticket? Can you? Can you? <laughs> aren't you the airline clerk? Am I? Do you work for Delta? Do I? Why aren't you wearing pants? Why aren't you wearing pants? Why aren't you wearing pants? Why, Why aren't you, you wearing, wearing pants? pants? Okay, see, this, this has just devolved into a childlike argument. <laughs> oh, that's so cool. Okay, I like that. That's good. Uh, um, what's another game, if you don't mind, to play with us? That was, you got to be on it with that. Right? Uh, well, I don't know if that playing improv games uh, on the phone is as uh, effective as it might be, but I will tell you that when you come and see us at the show, uh, uh, we uh, we throw down a real hard and um, there's a lot of audience interaction so That's if you're awesome. going to come to the show you should be prepared to come on stage because we bring people up as uh, host- uh, volunteers and uh, it's really fun uh, it's way more interactive than the um, television show Nice. I think I might have to talk to Sean and see if I can snag some of these t- tickets for myself because right. that seems really fun okay so I definitely talked to some of my friends and people that I know that you know, or thinking about improv and thinking about being comedians. I was like, listen, this is something you don't want to miss. So what would you say to someone who wants to get involved in improv and comedy and starting that 
that profession? Well, uh, first of all, there's not a lot of people who make a living out of it, so I would be realistic about it. <laughs> uh, I got very lucky, and there's a few of us who do it and can actually earn money doing it. Um, but I think you have a join a group at school. I'm sure there's loads of uh, improv uh, groups in college and everything. That's where I started. And um, be, be in a group with people that are funnier than you is a good way to get going. Yeah. Always, you're always playing over your head a little bit. Um, as far as making a living at it, wow. I don't even know how many people make a living at it in the world. So uh, <laughs> that's kind of a, a wild goal. That's like saying you want to be a brain surgeon or something. You, if you can put your mind to it, you no, can. Hey, listen, I, I wouldn't say, <laughs> My, the advice I always give everyone is don't take no for an answer because everyone will always tell you no, don't do this and don't yeah. do that. And I think you should do whatever you want. And uh, if you if you want to be a professional improviser, GD it, then go for it. That's awesome. So while doing my research, right, for this amazing interview, I came across some facts that you were the voice of the famous Bob the Builder. I was. I uh, did Bob the Builder for years. Uh, oh they wanted an uh, American accent. We used to record it in England, but it was the show for Canada and the United States. So it was a really good gig. We would fly to London and um, uh, and record there, and we had awesome Chinese food for lunch. <laughs> we'd wrap up early usually, so I loved doing it. And then people in America would go, why don't you just record it down here and, and then send it to them? And I'd be like, shh, they're sending me to England. Yeah, okay. like, don't, don't be quiet, please. Thank you. I also, in uh, um, The Nightmare Before Christmas, uh, there was a bunch of voices in that. And then we're doing that live at the Hollywood Bowl uh, this year at the end of October with Danny Elfman and Catherine O'Hara and Ken Page and the um, Hollywood Bowl Phil, uh, Philharmonic Orchestra with John Masseri conducting. Wow. That's... We've done that. We did that last year at Barclays Center in um, Brooklyn and a couple years before that at the Hollywood Bowl. So that's an amazing gig. It's like being in an opera. That's awesome. So you have Bob the Builder, which was a child, well, you know, type of show. And you also starred in True Jackson VP. So between animations and, in you know, real life uh, star, what do you prefer, being a character or doing your own improv? Well, I, the thing I like the most is doing my podcast because that's mm -hmm. my my baby, me and my wife, uh, and that's our, we get to talk whatever we want to talk about. So that gives me the most artistic freedom. But I love doing the voice work. It was fun. it's really good fun, and I really enjoy being on True Jackson. The cast was so talented, and all of them are on TV shows now. You know, they've all gone yeah. to such great things. Um, Ashley and Kiki are amazingly talented, and Matt and Robbie are superb and you know it was I liked playing for kids because um, kids are honest they don't lie to you and tell you you're funny when they don't like <laughs> that you. That's true they really are. That's great so with that being said do you still are you still involved in the kids shows or like do you still pop up at the kids choice awards, awards or are you still involved in that scene or did you take a step away from Oh no that, when it ended I, I didn't do that no I've been on the road with uh, Who's Live where do you Oh, gee whiz. We got like 60 dates coming up in the next couple months. I'm going to Australia with Colin and Brad. I'm going to London oh, wow. and Paris in December with my wife, and we're going to do the Who's Line there, and then uh, my podcast in Paris and London, and uh, uh, I got stand-up dates uh, all over, probably New Year's in San Francisco, so I've been very busy. Oh, wow. It sounds like it. That's great. Matt, listen, thank you so much, Greg. I don't... I don't Greg, you have, I mean, Gabe, you have anything else? No, I just want to say I've been a, a big fan for quite a while, and uh, Bob the Builder was a big part of my childhood. Yeah, so, I think uh, when I came across that, yeah. that's what really put sparks in my eyes. Yeah, I was, was like, like, oh my god! Wow, I gotta, I gotta sit on in this and just you know say hello and ask a couple of questions. But uh, I just want to say uh, thanks for all the the great memories you've given me, and uh, I love Who's Line, and you're you're just a great guy, funny. Thank guy. you, brother. Exactly. I, well, I, I hope I see you guys. Were we in Westbury? Yes. yes, we are at the NYC Theater at Westbury. Oh, yeah. We'll go, I think we were there last year. So we'll be there on the 10th on the yes. Wednesday. We'll see you 10th next at 8 a.m. So thank you again, Greg Poops, for talking with us this morning. We know your fans are looking forward to seeing you live October 10th at the NYCB Theater at Westbury. So if you are the first caller, you can... Win a pair of tickets at 516-572-7440 to win a pair of tickets to see Who's Line Anyway. Featuring stars from Who's Line Is It Anyway, including Ryan Stiles, Jeff Davis, Greg Proops, and Joelle Murray.
coming to the NYCB Theater at Westbury on Wednesday, October 10th at 8 p.m. More information can be found at venue.thetheater at westbury.com. Thank you again, Greg. Thanks, darling. Awesome.